This is a demonstration on live assist panels, uh, and we've built one for baseball, but these can be built for really any sport. Uh, so I just have my templates I built here, my lower third, my full screen scoreboard, and there's there's other ones like the um, starting pitcher lineup and so forth. So we have all these uh, these done. And then the second part of this is we're using the ClickFX baseball app to generate the data. Now, you don't need this part uh, for doing hockey. The data could be coming in from an external device. But basically what's happening here now is the data from this uh, is creating an XML file. Now, technically, we could go and connect uh, to that XML file that the, that's being provided. But in some cases, we want to have different kind of data. So for instance, let's say the data comes in and it says, um, you know, the home team or the away team is Toronto. And now I want to be able to take that and say, I want, well, if I want to go to get the headshots, they're in a folder called Toronto backslash, you know, where the headshots are. Um, that that doesn't come in the XML file. So what the Live Assist panels actually do is they take that data, they bring it in, and we can massage that data and uh, and push that data back out to Lyric. So we push it back out to Lyric in the form of parameters. So for instance, uh, you know, you'll see along here, you know, even this one here, I have a place for logo sponsors and and the networks. Well, that kind of data is not in the data file itself. So we push all this data in the form of parameters and all this data is coming back and you'll see down here where it says, you know, backslash Toronto backslash Kendris Morales. So I can use that information to go and get his headshot to put in, in place here. So uh, with this parameters now, instead of connecting to the XML file, so I'm just going to go here for a second, I'll show you this. Instead of actually connecting to the XML file, which we could do right here, I'm actually connecting to the parameters and these parameters here. So now all of this parameter information that you see along the right hand side is now here. And so I can uh, link my files in Lyric to this data. So when that's all said and done, we come back and we say, okay, what do we want the uh, user interface to look like? Well, I wanted it to look like this. What we've done is we've actually produced uh, a way where you can actually create the, the user interface in Photoshop. So, for instance, um, all I have to do in here is, you know, if, if I come to a, an area like this, I just have to give it a name. So this text field that I'm con uh, connecting on right here, which is the Blue Jays, I just give it a label called text colon home team. So this home team uh, do up, uh, that's the information I, I, I have to bring in. Really what the, the Live Assist panel needs is just whether it's text whether it's images, you can see some of the images down here. Uh, this window was for live video, if you really wanted to, li to have live video. So if I'm done with this, I'm, I've created my Live Assist panel in Photoshop, then we can then bring that Live Assist panel, or sorry, the GUI from Photoshop, right into, uh, into here. Now notice that I'm connecting to this Live Assist panel over a web browser. So technically, I could, from any computer, as long as it was on the same network, connect to this web browser and be able to do this. Or, better yet, I could have this one for the user. I could have a different one for uh, the technical director. Maybe the technical director just wants to bring the, the bug on and off the screen or go from there to the full scoreboard. Um, or be able to, be able to put the, the sponsor logos on and off. So you can create a separate one just for the TD. And you could even create a separate one for a producer if you wanted to. Okay, so how this, is, how this works now is as the data is changing, and I'll go in here and I'll show you that the data is changing. I'll just bring this down here. So if I go to next batter, and I'm just going to do uh, get these out. So we have to change uh, innings. So next batter. So now we go to the bottom of the inning. When I do that, when I click on, on that, all of this information in here should change. And it did. It changed to the other team. So now New York is up. So even here, the do-ups, because New York is up, the do-ups switch to Toronto. The next one is Devin Travis, 
and there, uh, there's Devin Travis would be the next up in the next inning. So this information is put in here. Now the user, he just has to bring it on. So for instance, if I want to bring on uh, the full scoreboard, I click on this. Actually, we'll bring it down so we can show you uh, that it's calling up very fast in Lyric. I'll bring up Lyric again. All right. And there is uh, the GUI. And again, I'm doing this all on the same computer. It would be, you know, be wise to have this GUI maybe on a different computer. This form of data here, again, this is how I'm producing the data for the baseball. Uh, you don't need this part as long as if you're getting data from an external source, uh, that's all you need. Um, so you can see that uh, if I wanted to take this off now, we we'll take it off. I'm going to bring in uh, the, the pitcher matchups. And when I hit the on button here, you'll see it flash on here. And I'm going to show you the output and see what it looks like. But it knows that uh, Marco Strada and Luis uh, Severino are the players. It knows that the home team is New York Yankees and the away team is uh, the Toronto Blue Jays. So all of the information that gets put in here, and I'll just call it up manually here, all of this information including the backgrounds, get changed. And they get changed because the data that's coming in knows which teams it is. And so the data is, uh, I have it connected so that the data is looking at uh, this name and this name, and it's actually going and changing all the logos. So um, really the user at that point just has to maybe create some manual pages, but just launching, uh, launching the, the panels will change all the information and um, you know maybe we can put on the the next batter so again it's looking at the team it's looking at the next player and it's creating all that information now in this case I actually put a pause in it because when I click the pause button because this graphic would be uh, in-house at a baseball game they can't have any animation playing when the batter comes to the box so that's uh, that's basically how the panels work, uh, the live assist panels work with Lyric.